Hi. I've been working on six paintings this week, and um, I've come to the end of um, giving them all another layer. And it's been really interesting to look at them all and to see the difference between the one that I started at the beginning of the week and the one that I have just finished working on yesterday. I feel like in the beginning of the week, when I did a little a painting session on one of those paintings, I took it sort of two steps along. At the end of the week, when I did a painting session on a painting, I was taking it perhaps four or five steps along because I was applying what I had learnt, what I had liked and seen was working well in the previous paintings to the next, to the next ones. And I just got clearer and clearer about what it was I wanted to do. So this is the one that I started at the beginning of the week. And I've put on, um, it's this, it's got about three layers on it now. And in this last layer, I added, um, I added stripes. I added this green color because I liked it here, a little bit of it there, and I thought I like that color, so I want more of it. So I mixed up some more and I've, I've added it around. And um, I like this color here, so I mixed up some of that and I've spread that around, but I've made it, it's translucent, it's, it's thin, as opposed to this area, yeah, these, these bits where I've added that same color and it's thick. So I've got a difference between thick and thin there. At this point, I really have no idea of the design. All I'm doing is adding on surface interest, and I haven't really made any decisions yet about which way it's going to go, what the painting's going to be about, what's sort of going to be the main feature, where I'm going to take it. I haven't made any of those decisions yet. That's as far as I got before deciding, okay, that's enough. I don't really, I'm not ready to make any more decisions at this stage. I'll pass it on and I'll go and do the same to the next painting. So I'll show you what I did to the next painting. Okay, so this is the, this is the next painting I worked on and I pretty much did the same thing. I added the stripes, I made some different greens just to give a richness to the to the greens it was all very flat one one type of green so I gave some sort of put some gray greens in and some other softer greens I put some larger shapes with the light so here I'm starting to think about the design I'm starting to give myself some strong value contrasts and I've got light areas and I've given myself some dark areas Oh, and I also isolated these bits of red. I made, a, this was just a little bit of red. I made that bigger. I'm sort of feeling like that those reds are going to be quite important in this painting. The next time I come to it, I'll probably turn it around, make some more decisions. And I don't know whether I'll leave the three big hoops there, but um, at least I've got some areas that are dark and some areas that are light to be going forward with. Okay. So this was the next one I worked on, and I did the same thing. I added the stripes, I added the transparent layer, I added some of this, I picked out the, this grey, which was already in the painting, and put some more of those shapes in. And then the other thing I did was I created this shape that kind of goes through the painting, links it from one from top to bottom. I've made a bigger decision about the design, and about what this painting is going to be about than I had in the previous two paintings. I sort of feel like this painting is a step further in, in sort of having made some decisions about design and what this painting is about than the last one was. Um, so then I, so that was the third painting, so then I moved on to the fourth. Which, okay, so this is the fourth painting and I worked on this one after the previous one. So having made those decisions that I made on the previous painting, I came into this one and with greater confidence, I think, I kind of applied the same thinking to this one. And so I've come in with the stripes, um, picked out colours that I like and brought more of them in, like these beigey sort of colours. Um, I did the same with the dark brown. And I picked out the blue um, and I've brought in the transparent layer as well into 
bringing those big shapes in. I've also isolated some little details that I have quite like. So now this painting, it's probably going to be this way up. I've made some quite solid decisions about the design and um, I've taken it a bigger step than I had done perhaps with the earlier ones. And I feel like you know, it's moving in a nice straight path, <laughs> but I feel like I can see the direction that this painting's going in. And then I worked on this one. This is number five. What I did here was, I think I already had the stripes, but I, I linked up these blue areas. I think I just had these sort of isolated blue bits, but I linked them all up. I've kind of made a decision about colour in this painting. Um, and I've also made some decisions about design. And I'm feeling that even though this does need a little bit more work, I feel like it's almost done, it's almost finished. I've taken it much further along, those four paintings that I've just previously shown you. So this I feel is getting close to being finished. And finally, this is the last one. And um, I kind of feel like this one is in a sort of similar place to the previous one. It's not too far away from being finished. I, um, I think I already had the stripes there. Um, I like those all together. And so I thought, I'm going to make this painting. That, that's the colour palette. So I brought out some little bits of more orange in the painting. I put a lot more of this colour around. Um, and I've brought uh, this colour here into those darker areas um, with, the, with the transparent paint. And this is the beauty of working in multiples, is that um, you can apply that, that, what you've learned in one, you apply to the next. And even though the paintings can be quite different, it's basically you're just making a series of decisions. And having made a series of decisions in a previous painting, you've learnt what works and what doesn't, and then your next decisions that you make in the next painting have got that, um, they're, they're, they're more informed when you, make, when you come to making those decisions.